awesome. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. So I'm Brittany Knapper. I'm with Nerds and Beyond. Nerds and Beyond. Uh, exactly. Thanks <laughs> for taking the time to, to chat. Um, I was curious, just because we live in a world where, you know, established IP is so, so dominant in the media, but you produce and develop a lot of new and original material. Do you think that studios underestimate the hunger for original material? Uh, I, I'm having a lot of success with it. I'll say that. I think there is a price point though. I think, you know, if you're going to try to go for something new, you've got to be really thoughtful about how you put the package together, why you should do it, why people are going to want to see it, and then how valuable it is, if you know what I mean, with regards to this um, risk for the studio. Um, and if you kind of can balance all that, then you can get some original material through and hopefully create franchises, which we've had some success doing. So. Uh, and I'd say one thing that your films have in common is that there is great action, but side by side with great characters. And I was wondering if you could talk about your philosophy of integrating action and character. Thank you very much. 87 North is all about that. So it's a company that my husband, David Leach, and I own together. Um, and we're looking for character-based action stars who, by the way, can come in any package, size, form, shape, anything, you know. <laughs> I haven't done an alien yet, but maybe we could someday. <laughs> um, and um, and yet, there's like a relatable arc that is that action that that is worthy of action punctuating, if that makes sense, or that is improved by punctuations of action. And um, you know, and we've had some, you know, that's really crucial. It's like you know, there's, you know, first you need that complex character that you can do a lot of things with. Um, you have to find that actor who has the desire to do all the training, and then um, you know, and then and then you have to kind of put the right pieces together otherwise, which is has a lot to do with the director that you choose, whether it be David Leach or whether it be somebody like Ilya Neischuler who crushed this picture. Awesome. And uh, because you and your husband work together so often, how do you navigate the stresses of production with just, you know, the everyday issues of, of that come up with married life? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, unlike this picture, my husband has not lost his mojo, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I think, honestly, I came from a family that worked together. My, my, mom and, my mom helped my dad's business grow when I was young and we all pitched in. So maybe it's just what I'm used to. Um, but it just kind of flows for us. And it's, uh, it's so funny. We were on a walk this morning with our dogs and we were talking about he's shooting right now and I got to get to set pretty soon. But he's shooting a scene and it was like something that needed a little bit of thinking and there was going to be a rehearsal at the beginning. And we just talked it through while we were walking the dogs. And it was it was just like talking about anything else. We, uh, we just really enjoy it, to be honest. I think you have to. I think you have to live for working if you're people like us. <laughs> totally. And what was the what was so what was the development process like specifically for nobody? Yeah, I mean the idea came from Bob and an experience that he had had that he wished he would have handled differently uh, when his home was invaded once. I think he probably handled it correctly uh, if this is how he wanted to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, you know, his dream writer was Derek Kolstad, who we had a relationship with. We also have an amazing producing partner in Braden Aftergood. Um, you know, and then it's like, how do you, who's the, who's the right director? It's like, who's the bold but thoughtful, lyrical sort of combo that, you know, would be a phenomenal partner in the process and want to be supported by the action that we bring and the action team that we bring? And we found the perfect one in Ilya Neischuler. So, and we're all really focused on making the same film from day one. And that is, to me, one of the recipes for making a good picture. That's awesome. And uh, just because we haven't seen Christopher Lloyd on screen in, in a bit, oh, what was that was bringing him in? That was so exciting to see him as as the as the father figure. He's so cool. <laughs> I want to give, before I do, because I want to give a shout out to Connie Nielsen too. Mm, yes. He played this role in the most extraordinary way with soft you know, compassion, love, even though it's, a, you know, even though it's not quite the marriage she was hoping for, or it used to be, you know, and, and I think the way the, the nuance of that performance, she's able to arc to where the family is able to go. And I think that that's really, really a special performance, if you want my honest opinion. As for Christopher Lloyd, it was kind of late in the game, like, who's going to be Bob's, like, you know, father? This is, like, a lot, like, because you kind of want an iconic, um, you know, uh, actor. A lot of them are busy, and a lot of them don't work anymore, and so <laughs> somehow this, he came into our ether. I think it was Bob, and we just were like, oh my gosh, 
<laughs> like, let's get him, of course. And um, he read, he wanted to play. And I think he, he started conversations with us a week later. It was really awesome. That's so great. Yeah, I was going to ask about Connie next because it's so interesting seeing her come from Wonder Woman and being Queen Hippolyta and just straight out the gate kicking butt. But then with this one, you kind of get to see this other side of her. Do you think is that maybe what uh, drew her to the project or what was the process of uh, working with her like? She was so she was so involved in kind of making Becca the Becca that is on the screen now. You know, um, again that nuance of like they, they they haven't gone they haven't crossed so many bridges that there's no way back. And um, yeah, there's a little bit of resentment and you know a little bit of trouble going on. And um, I just think that like you know she handled it. She wanted it to play it that way. She like talked about really really you know, in detail that it needed to feel real and it needed to feel, you know, um, the way a lot of us feel in marriages a lot of different times in our marriages. <laughs> Not to mention the rest of the family. She actually brought up, I'm sorry, I'm talking so much, but she brought up um, with the son. Um, there was one point where he was just chilling um, at the lasagna table and she was like, I would have my son do something here or, you know, I would be criticizing him for not doing something here. And, um, and so he, she actually like was like, you know, let's, ha as a mother, this is how my family would roll. And she was really informative that way, which was really cool. That's so rad. Um, I guess one final question, hopefully we can squeeze it in. Um, so you mentioned before that a lot of the leads in uh, your films have to do like a lot of their own actions. So did Bob, he got in shape. Did he do a lot of his own stunts or how much yeah. was he involved in the action sequences? I mean, he was serious about his actions. So <laughs> I think he started training with one of our, um, with one of our guys, Daniel Bernhardt, who's in the film, an action um, actor in his own right, super talented guy. And he loves actors and he loves to train them. And uh, I put him in touch like before the script was written because Bob was so eager to kind of like switch from this cardio junkie to like this guy who could actually do stuff like in a fight. <laughs> and um, he put the time in more time than probably anybody we've ever worked with. <laughs> And I think you can feel it on the screen. I think he really crushed it. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much. I think that was that was it for my questions. That was great. Thank you so much, Brittany. It's really nice to talk to you. Talk to you too. Thank you. Take care.